Hey, Bud Smart Home fam. If you're eyeing the Homey Pro Hub, stick around until the end of today's video. I've got a special limited time discount that you won't want to miss. Yep, I'm talking about saving some serious cash on one of the best smart home hubs out there. Stay tuned and I'll give you all the juicy details later in the video. Trust me, it's worth the wait. In today's episode, I'm excited to review my surveillance flow for the Homey Pro Hub using the advanced flow feature. I'll begin with a demonstration of my alarms and notifications when a breach is detected. I'll then provide a brief overview of the four sections of my flow. I'll discuss the apps and smart devices used within my flow, and then I'll wrap up with a comparison of Homey surveillance capabilities as compared to my current SmartThings home monitor setup. I'll not be able to fully address the configuration of the Heimdall app in today's episode. The Heimdall app is the surveillance app that is key when setting up the Homey security. Although it's not difficult to configure, it would require more time than I have in today's presentation. I am willing, however, to address this subject in another video with ample interest. Just drop a comment below if that's something you'd like me to work on. With the intro out of the way, let's get into the demonstration. Okay, before recording this demo, I put our Homey app in arm stay mode. That status is reflected on the ring keypad. So now if I should open any exterior door, that should activate alarms. What you're gonna see is the dome siren is going to be activated. I also have a light, a hall light here that will turn red and flash. In addition to that, I have this light down here that should also flash. It's red from previous testing, I guess, but that should be flashing once the alarm goes off. So I'm gonna go over here now and open up our living room door, and that should activate the alarm. This is the chime that, that rings with the And here you see the hallway light is flashing. And also, the living room light is flashing. To deactivate the surveillance flow, it's just a matter of tapping the push notification that each family member receives on their mobile devices. The app then gives you the option to disable the siren and disarm the system. Okay, I currently have the system in disarmed mode. I'm gonna change it to arm stay. When I do that, you'll see this status reflected over here in the ring keypad. Uh, that is connected via the SmartThings 2 app. There's currently no way to connect these mode changes in the Homey Pro app. Hopefully that'll be added at some point in the future. So let's go ahead and put this into arm stay mode and then I'll show you how I can disarm the system using the app. So here we go in arm stay. And I'm, home, home and armed. you see that change activated over here and it's also announced on the Echo Show over there. I'm gonna have my wife open the door at this point to activate the alarm. Okay, there you see the arm activation. You also see the flashing light over there. We have a notice on the phone. I'll have to open my notifications. I've got a prompt here asking me if I want to disable the surveillance alarm. Well, I'll click on that and hit yes. Disarmed. And that disarmed the system and it should shut this blinking light off here in just a second. I've had this surveillance flow in place for about a month, so it's been tested extensively. The flow executes properly, but there are a couple of issues with some of the Homey Pro apps that I'm using. I'll discuss that a little more later. Because I'm a novice with advanced Homey flows, I'm sure that there are improvements which can be made. If you see something in the flows that I can improve, be sure to drop a comment so that we can all learn together. There are four main sections within my surveillance flow. I'll cover each section in more detail in just a moment, but for now, I'll just provide an overview of each section. 
Now section one titled Mode Status Changes uses flows to change the status of off on virtual switches. These flows were written in an effort to emulate the mode changes like those that can be viewed in the SmartThings Home Monitor. Section two titled Time Based Mode Changes contains flows that make changes to our homey surveillance system based on the time of day. The flows in this section are similar to the good night and good morning routines that can be found within the SmartThings app. Section three titled Presence Mode Changes contains flows which use Homie's built-in presence elements to monitor when the last family members depart or the first family member arrives home. Section four titled Alarms and Notification contains the flows which activate sirens and lights and send push notifications to family members' mobile devices. There is also an additional flow which is activated within the alarms and notifications flow. More on that in just a moment. My flows are constructed with both native elements and Homey Store apps. As mentioned previously, one of the fundamental apps used in this flow is the Heimdall surveillance app. Now this is a free home surveillance app which can be sourced via the Homey Store. It can be easily identified in the flow by its bright green surveillance icon. As defined in the Homey Store, the Heimdall app will turn your Homey into a surveillance system. It can be configured to detect all leak, motion, door and window sensors. These alarm events will be logged as they occur and when Heimdall is in surveillance mode, the alarm will be activated within the Homey Pro app. I used Homey Pro's built-in presence detection for flows contained in section two and three. The presence card, which is identifiable by the lime green icon, tracks the presence status of all registered family members. I also used the date and time system app in section two to trigger my good night and good morning flows at 11 p.m. and 5.55 a.m. respectively. I used Homie's built-in push notifications in the alarms and notifications sections to notify family members of an activated surveillance alarm. I used the Homie Store Amazon Alexa app, which can be identified by its pastel blue icon. This app gives one the ability to add Amazon Echo devices to Homie, allowing one to control them within Homie. I used the built-in element called Flow to start a blinking light flow. This blinking light flow is called into the main flow as a subroutine. Its purpose is to automate my ZemiSmart RGB hall light and my third reality multifunction nightlight. The supplemental flow turns the lights on these devices red and flashes them repeatedly on and off until the flow is interrupted by the deactivation of the Heimdall alarm. And lastly, I'm using the Homey community app called SmartThings2 app. This is an unofficial Homey app created by members of the Homey community. The app is used to access smart devices that are installed on my SmartThings and AOTech hubs. The app provides the Homey Hub with the ability to discern the status of my exterior door sensors and to activate lights and the dome siren, which are all installed on my SmartThings hubs. Now let's take a deeper dive into the four sections of this surveillance flow. The purple colored virtual mode switches that you see in section one were made with the Virtual Devices app. As stated previously, these switches were created to simulate the mode status changes that are viewable within the SmartThings home monitor. I made three switches to include Armed Away, Arm Stay, and Disarm. Now, although the Heimdall app contains these same modes, you must open Heimdall's surveillance tile to view the mode status. Now, I found this as inconvenient, so I constructed the flows to make it easier to visualize the changed surveillance modes. The cards with the orange icons are virtual switches from my SmartThings hub. I needed to include these in the flow to mirror surveillance mode changes within the SmartThings home monitor and to also mirror those changes on the ring alarm keypad. This is necessary because of the shortcomings of Homie's ring alarm app, which I will address later. Now let's see how these mode changes function within the home tab. The flows in section two activate time-based security mode changes, namely a good night flow and a good morning flow. These flows are written to have the surveillance system remain armed if no one is home. If there is someone at home, the system will change from disarm to partially armed at bedtime, and then it will revert back to disarm in the morning. Since all members of the household are currently home, 
then the flow should change the surveillance mode to partially armed. The flow in Section 3 activates mode changes based on the presence of family members or lack thereof. The surveillance condition is currently in the disarm mode. If I tap on each member's icon and change their presence setting from at home to away, you will see the surveillance mode change from disarm to armed away. Now conversely, if I change the presence of any one member back to at home, the Heimdall app will change the mode back to disarm. The flows in Section 4 perform a number of smart home actions whenever an alarm condition occurs within the Heimdall app. The alarm state is activated when any configured smart home device is detected as triggered. This could be an open door contact sensor, a wet water leak sensor, or a motion event. When any alarm condition occurs, the flow will activate my dome siren, activate the blinking red light flow, play an intruder warning on my kitchen echo, and send push notifications to all family member mobile devices. Now, I promised earlier to discuss some of the issues I've encountered when using certain Homey Community apps. Let's start with the Homey Community SmartThings 2 app. This app tends to crash at times. When this happens, the flow stops executing. I have also noted some latency issues since the app relies on an access token for retrieval of data from the Samsung SmartThings servers. I suspect that the speed of data retrieval is sometimes influenced by network latency, server load, and data size. When and if I make the decision to migrate all of my smart devices over from the SmartThings hub to the Homey hub, I will likely resolve these connection and latency issues. As mentioned previously, my Flow Echo announcements were generated using the Homey Community Amazon Alexa app. I find this app to have response times that are unacceptable for Echo announcements. These Echo announcements are often delayed. If I attempt to make multiple successive announcements, the app's performance degrades dramatically. Since the Echo announcements are non-essential, they could be excluded altogether from the Flow. One of my biggest areas of contention is the limited Ring Alarm keypad functionality provided by the Homey Community Ring Alarm app. The app only permits you to retrieve data related to the following functions. Battery level changed, tamper alarm on, off, or activated, key sequence entered, and emergency key pressed. Although the lack of Ring keypad integration in Homey Pro is not a deal breaker for me, I've really come to enjoy the Ring Keybad's integration with SmartThings, and I would sorely miss it. All right, my smart home enthusiast, thanks for sticking around. As promised, here's the scoop on that special discount. From July 13th to July 21st, you can snag the Homey Pro Hub with an exclusive 10% discount. Just head over to the Homey Store at the link provided in the description below. On the checkout page, look for the place to add your discount code and enter BUDS-10, that's B-U-D-S dash the number 10. Remember this offer is only available for a limited time, so don't wait too long. Happy smart home upgrade. If you are a SmartThings Hub user and you have an interest in seeing how to set up the Ring Alarm keypad within SmartThings, then click on the video to my right. If you'd like to see how I integrated my SmartThings devices into Homey, then the left video will get you started. Click on the description for video links as well. Hey, thanks for joining me today, and remember to stay smart and stay connected.